Welcome to Learn Some Psychology. I'm Mrs. Daniel. In this video, we're going to learn about the locations and functions of the structures in the midbrain, including the caudate nucleus and substantia nigra in the basal ganglia, and the amygdala, hippocampus, hypothalamus, and cingulate gyrus in the limbic system. The basal ganglia is a system of structures that is wrapped around and directly next to the thalamus, right in the center of your brain. Imagine that the brain is like an onion. It has a lot of layers, each on top of the others. The thalamus is in the middle, and the basal ganglia is the next layer on top of it. In general, the basal ganglia is responsible for helping us learn from the environment, and from the consequences of our actions, something called feedback processing. The basal ganglia contains lots of brain structures, but we are only going to learn about two of them, the caudate nucleus and the substantia nigra. First, the caudate nucleus. The caudate nucleus plays a role in learning, memory, feedback processing, and behavior. It helps us make a mental association, or connection, between the actions we take and the consequences of those actions, and therefore to learn from those consequences to change our behaviors. For example, if I gave you a cookie every time you answered a test question correctly, your caudate nucleus would make the association between correct answers and cookies, and you would learn to answer questions correctly more often. The caudate nucleus is also responsible for helping us work toward our goals. Next, the substantia nigra. This structure has that name because substantia nigra is Latin for dark substance, and the substantia nigra shows up as a dark spot on MRI scans. The substantia nigra is a heavy producer of dopamine. Think of it like a dopamine factory. If you recall, dopamine is otherwise known as the reward neurotransmitter. One of its jobs is to transmit feelings of pleasure across your brain's cells. Therefore, the substantia nigra is part of the brain's reward center. Anytime you decide to do something in order to get a reward or make yourself happy, the substantia nigra is playing a role in that decision. It also plays a role in learning and the formation of addictions. And now, on to the limbic system. The limbic system is the next layer of the brain onion. It also surrounds the thalamus, just on top of the basal ganglia. Sometimes the limbic system is referred to as the lizard brain, because its job is to regulate our emotions and our basic instincts. Just like the basal ganglia, there are many structures in the limbic system. This video will cover four of them the amygdala, hippocampus, hypothalamus, and cingulate gyrus. First, the amygdala. The amygdala is a very important brain structure to our survival because it governs the emotions of fear and anger, otherwise known as the fight-or-flight response. Here is a little mnemonic device to help you remember how to spell amygdala as well as what it does. Amy G. Dalla is scared and angry. Next we have the hippocampus. The hippocampus plays an important role in memory. Specifically, the hippocampus helps us encode or create new memories. It also plays a role in storing those memories, especially memories of learned behaviors. Finally, the hippocampus is involved in spatial memory, which is your ability to close your eyes and picture a 3D mental image of places that you've been, like your room or the hallways at school. Third is the hypothalamus. Hypo means below in Greek. The hypothalamus is called that because it sits below the thalamus, right behind the amygdala. The hypothalamus is responsible for regulating our endocrine system by controlling the pituitary gland. The endocrine system is the system of glands and hormones in your body that controls things like your hydration, metabolism, digestion, and growth. In other words, the hypothalamus controls your drives to meet your body's basic needs. When you get hungry or sleepy, those feelings are coming from your hypothalamus. The last structure in the limbic system, the cingulate gyrus, could technically be grouped with the cerebral cortex. However, it is generally included in the limbic system because of its function. The cingulate gyrus is responsible for emotional responses to pain. This structure is what makes you get angry, and sometimes even use naughty language, when you stub your toe on that coffee table or catch your fingers in a door. The cingulate gyrus doesn't handle anger in general. That's the amygdala's job. It specifically focuses on making you angry when you get hurt. And that's it for this episode of Learn Some. I hope you learned some psychology.